What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Jigga Koraku, this time with episode 11. Um, had a lot of information in the last episode surrounding Tau and that kind of life energy force is what I kind of equate that to. Um, again, it was quite interesting to learn about that. Um, we saw the little pink haired girl evolve last episode as well. Um, I do think she probably is one of the Tencent, but again, there might be some kind of uh, weird situation with her. Maybe she's again just a kind of, well we did see her as a kid, so a, a very young one kind of having to make her way up and kind of age up again i'm still not 100 sure uh plenty of questions last episode we actually saw the uh blonde well we saw both of the brothers actually still alive last episode which was uh, very interesting so looking forward to seeing um what they get up to today as we got introduced to the doshi i think they're called um very similar to the tencent but probably on a on a lower kind of power scale considering uh on a kind of social scale they are quite a bit lower down as well so interested to hear more about them as well but do let me know what you guys think of this episode in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions and let's get right into the episode guys a couple weeks left of this show fortunately enough had a uh, had a week break a couple weeks ago didn't it so again still got a couple weeks left which is good to hear a couple of the shows i'm watching this season have already ended couple like this have a couple weeks left and uh, most of them end in next week but um this is probably been the biggest split between kind of when seasonal shows are ending for me which makes it interesting to uh sort out my schedule for the upcoming weeks obviously not too hard i'm just gonna add an episode here and there of what i'm already covering but yeah a lot of information last episode I did bring up the fact that also the pink haired girl does look like she would be a ten sen, but there's a, there's already a pink haired girl and we, we've obviously seen they're all quite different from each other. But there's already a pink haired girl there. Yeah, it doesn't hair colour is not the be all end all, but maybe she's like a new cycle for that ten sen perhaps, maybe a new kind of version slash form that replaces the ink-haired one. Yeah, we saw the dragon guy last episode as well, didn't we? But um, yeah, still plenty of questions, even though quite a lot did get answered last episode. Also, we found out that the one of the, uh, what are they called? Executioners actually uses Tau unknowingly, but he does use it, which is interesting. Being, seems pretty hopeful for the uh, for the prisoners here, doesn't it? That they could hopefully learn it in time. That it would be useful. These guys probably not so much, but yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't quite say he's dead so easily, my dude. This guy has died a couple times now. I don't know. I never noticed that bit on his neck before. Ah, oh, well, no wonder I didn't. Oh crap! Merge with. Wow. Ah, so he kind of bonded with with the uh, with the plant life. Therefore, he's now able to kind of read Tau and use it seemingly as well. Obviously, he's a complete noob. <laughs> and yeah, he's just... He's almost achieved what they're coming to set out, really. I mean, not not so in the fact that we can't bring this elixir back, but he is he is now immortal, right?
but he's not human anymore. Interesting development right here. Wow. Take some balls to do that. <laughs> that is a strange shape right there. Oh wow, he's really learning how to use this now, isn't he? These guys have really turned the table, bloody hell. Like a couple episodes ago, these guys were just two-bit bloody side characters that died. <laughs> now nah, they've, they've actually got a lot of potential, haven't they? So is the other brother not? He, I doubt, it doesn't look like he's kind of fused with whatever this is either. So it's just this blonde guy. Yeah, and he can already use it like that as well. I want to know though how how in fact he's not human anymore though. M more so in terms of what it means as him as a person. Maybe he might end up becoming more like the Ten Cent, perhaps. Well, she's got one as well. So was she human? Was she human and went through the same thing, perhaps? Yeah. Doesn't help with you saying this. <laughs> no. But, um, yeah, it just brings up another question of this girl now, doesn't it? Yeah, I, was, you re I really can't get anything out of this girl. Maybe it's like a, um, well, I was going to say maybe it's like Morse code, but <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, if she was a human, would she be, would she be like evolving like that? We haven't really got anything to compare it to yet, other than... Oh, I didn't see that shot of her before. Other than the uh, the blonde guy who's now kind of imbued with this... These uh, vine scar things.
he's aiming, yeah, he's aiming for the girl. And he recognizes her and lays out his jacket for her. A Sama. Banished. So yeah, maybe the Tencent are just kind of spectacular humans that kind of merged with the plants, perhaps. Maybe not. Like the Tencent, he said. So yeah, she most likely is one of them. Still. <clears throat> oh, that's a nasty looking bastard. Oh, yeah, you need some revenge. <laughs> I forgot about that. You need some revenge, bro. So these are the the bosses behind the insects. Where did he get this hook, by the way? <laughs> Pretty cool, to be fair, but... Is that... Not sure I agree with that statement. Wow, really? <laughs> I mean, she's obviously helpful. There's obviously more to her, isn't there? I would say it's an advantage keeping her by our side, to be honest with you. That's just away from the stuff of just genuinely helping her out. Essential to that training. How? See, why are you helping? <laughs> why are you saying this? Oh, Chujusu. Oh, so these guys are like, these guys are like interlinked. But what? <laughs> what was that reaction? Wait, so they train. So what we've been seeing this time of all these tents and being together like this is them training. Love that reaction from Dragon Guy, by the way. <laughs> I'm rewinding just for that. 
uh, where was it? Thirteen forty-seven. Wow. But yeah, it does beg the question. I mean, this is again a quite obvious plot convenience. A plot convenience for a lot of shows and a lot of movies and stuff. To be honest, the the explanation from the enemies in the midst of battle. But I mean, why? It's uh, again, it's quite overplayed, isn't it? Not too mad at it. Like I said, it's quite the uh, quite the trope to be honest with you nowadays. But it give it now gives us a chance to learn this, right? Seems like a terrible idea. Noble. The laws of nature. Quite interesting, the uh, how they've turned sex into a training technique. <laughs> it's the highest quality. It is strange, isn't it? Okay, so she's not a human who turned. Okay. Man's burning up. Holy crap. That's pretty fucking cool, actually, isn't it? Oh crap. And it just grows back. Yeah, that, I think that is a definite here, isn't it? These guys don't stand a chance on this island if they don't learn how to use Tau. Is that what she means?
Sorry guys, just gonna blow my nose quickly. How do you do that? How do you just go from strong to weak and weak to strong? Sounds really difficult. Yeah, it did seem to click for him then, didn't it? But again, it sounds really hard. <laughs> Big. That's good to hear. Again, apologies, guys. Okay, makes a lot of sense to be fair, doesn't it? We have seen Gabby Mari struggle this whole whole season with this, haven't we? With kind of weakness and what he thinks is strength, mental strength, should I say? Again, these guys really shouldn't have explained their technique <laughs> way through the fight. I don't think it mattered that much because uh, the executioner actually found out from the pink haired girl anyway. And you helped him. You helped him. Idiot. And now they're just going to give up everything. Fair enough. Helped enough already. Wow, fucking hell. Some creepy faces. <laughs> Crap. Knock his head off like that. There is one of the tents then. Never we've seen that one before. Another pink haired one. So yeah, I was chatting rubbish about about the girl. Sorry guys again, my hay fever's playing up quite a bit. I'll try and blow away from the mic. <laughs> Yeah, follow these guys. Hopefully you just can't hear it, but maybe you probably can. I mean, an interesting episode, wasn't it? Like I said, uh, a bit of a shame about the enemies helping us out so bloody much. But it makes sense that Gabby Mari would be able to learn it as quick as he would, as we've seen. We've seen his kind of mental struggles throughout this whole season, haven't we? His kind of thoughts on 
his uh, his weakness and his uh, strength of mind, which he's he's gained over a mass of years. But I think Sagari's definitely been a massive impact on that. But yeah, this uh, this place looks mental, doesn't it? All right. I do wonder what's happened with the uh, with the blonde brother though. Again, quite a few questions surrounding that. Oh, again, apologies, guys. Bloody hell. Yeah, thank guys for watching. There again, apologies about um, my uh, AP was playing up, but. Yeah, really interesting episode. Um, like I said, I'm really intrigued what's going on with uh, with this blonde. He's, it, I'm getting some of the terms mixed up with the kind of Tencent, Tao, and there was another one to, it, that has three letters. Uh, ten, ten Tao. I, I, again, the terminology is going to be quite hard for me to keep up with, but um, he was kind of turning into the kind of life force along with the plants, and then both of the brothers made their way out of that only the blonde one seems to be kind of imbued with this kind of um he seems to have maybe halfway kind of merged with it and now it's like kind of like he's not a human anymore they said so again is that how people became the ten cent were they kind of strong prisoners slash just genuine general people before um and some of the not stro so strong humans turn into these kind of mindless monsters some of the half strong turned into these doshi and some of the really strong humans turn into these Tencent, perhaps. Um, that's uh, one theory that might stand, stand a reason. Again, brings up a lot of questions, doesn't it? I imagine, as we kind of saw from uh, from the blonde guy's brother, he might turn into more and more of a monster, kind of with this. Uh, it's almost a bit like a vampire. They turn kind of more, um, more and more into an actual vampire as time does go along. Maybe it's something very similar here. Uh, very interesting to think about, isn't it? So, um, yeah, a lot of a lot of questions brought up today. Um, again, a bit of a shame about the explanation from the the bloody villains <laughs> in this episode, but honestly, it didn't matter too much. Uh, like I like I did say during that uh, period, um, the execution actually found out what the pink haired girl was saying, which was pretty genius from him. Honestly, again, I I really understood absolutely. I didn't piece together anything <laughs> from just those two words. She just kept repeating over and over again, but makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, with the kind of yin and yang stuff, the strong and the weak of the mind, and kind of intertwining that. Uh, makes sense the way that the ten ten kind of train as well kind of um with the yin and yang and the kind of female male and them kind of merging into each other and making each other stronger um it's quite weird people enjoy people do enjoy training in general i enjoy training uh kind of physically but it's uh it must be really really awesome to train and something like that and get stronger while also pleasuring yourself <laughs> in that way so i'm not sure if they feel any pleasure from it it definitely looks like it the way they're bloody drooling and stuff but uh maybe that's more the kind of they're drooling at the power they're getting uh, again uh quite an interesting technique <laughs> that the author implemented there but yeah really good episode um do let me know you guys thought this one down in the comment section though leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions again apologies about the uh the sniff and my um hay fever is uh getting worse and worse but hopefully it'll get better soon uh thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your day, guys.